Good afternoon from RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C., where today the Philadelphia Eagles go against the Washington Redskins. Hello, everyone. I'm Don Crickey. This is Sonny Jurgens. Here's a skinny going into this game. The Redskins have a rash of injuries. Star running back John Riggins is out for the year with a severely sprained knee, and defensive star's Chris Hamburger, the signal caller, is out due to an appendicitis operation, and defensive back Pat Fisher is out due to another back operation. Yet the Redskins are still favored to win by four and a half points. Let's see how it plays out. I think we're going to see a hard-hitting football game. Well, Mark Mosley has the ball teed up, ready to kick it off. Back deep now for the Philadelphia Eagles. Larry Marshall is back. And the ball is coming to Marshall at the nine-yard line. He's across the 20, the 30, and Marshall is knocked out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. We have a player down. It's like Pete Wysocki coming down on special teams. A 28-yard return. As you see the Eagles backfield, your worst the quarterback, Sullivan and Hogan open as running backs. Big Harold Carmichael, one wide receiver. Charles Smith is the other. Keith Crefley, the tight end, averaging over 21 yards a catch, 13 catches. He can go deep for the Eagles. Good offensive line. Stan Walters has played excellent football, left tackle. Sizemore, very outstanding guard. It and was Wysocki. <laughs> Jaworski, a double reverse. Here comes Charlie Smith. He gets a block from Wade Key, and Charlie Smith rips ahead, fumbles the football. Great football. Who's got it? The Redskins have it. They're at the 44-yard line of Philadelphia opening quarter. There's no score. Mike Thomas looks to turn up field and does. He gets some good blocks. Going in the seven hole, Mike Thomas gets out inside the 40 and down to the 39-yard line. Good piece of running then, and going back to the strength of the offense, you see the starting receivers there, Bugs, Grant, and Fugit. They're going to have to have big days filling in for people. The offensive line of Washington, Stokes, Saul, Hoss, Hermeling, and Stark. There's Joe Theismann now in his fourth year with the Redskins after playing in Canada. He's a very mobile quarterback. They've had 14 sacks against the Redskins in the last two games, so they need mobility quarterback. And here comes Clarence Harmon. Running hard, he's got a first down to the 30. He's driven back by the right cornerback, Herman Edwards, but the Redskins, after getting a turnover at the outset of the game, move on with a nine-yard run. Good call here, the draw play, expecting a pass. He had him in a good situation. Harmon finds some running room to the outside, picks it up, picks up the first down. Herman Edwards comes in. Oh, this is where you get hurt. But the Eagles can sack you. They have 19 sacks in the first six games. That's as many as they had of last season. They sacked Dallas quarterback six times last week. Here comes Mike Thomas. Fighting for some yards. Third down and seven. Right down the middle. Heisman drills it on the numbers. And Frank Grant goes up high and gets it at the 15-yard line. No score, but it's first and ten. Washington is there mounting a challenge now at the 15. Theismann gets time into the end zone. It is touchdown. The tight end, Gene Fugit, cut the ball. And Washington comes out smoking and puts the first points up. Good throw here by Joe. Saint There's no pressure on Theismann. Almost all NFL quarterbacks can deliver passes like this if given the time. The mark of a great passer is when it can be done under a lot of pressure. Touchdown. This is something they haven't had in a long time. Let's take a look at it again. This time he, he actually runs Frank Grant out to the corner there to open that middle up. It's Ron McDowell, Brundage, Talbert, and Johnson. A line in the defensive front four of the Washington Redskins. Good start for the Redskins, Don. Uh, taking advantage of that fumble and putting some points on the board. There's Mike Curtis, the former Baltimore Colt, came in from Seattle at the outside linebacker, replacing Hamburger. Gerard Williams at the left corner has been victimized a few times, replacing injured Pat Fisher. The other cornerback, Lavender. Two good safeties, Jake Scott and Ken Houston, all pro quality. Jake Scott was questionable as whether or not he'd play, but apparently he's all right. Third and 20, this is where the Redskins are tough to move against. Defensive backs go way back now. Pitch back goes to Sullivan. And he doesn't get much at all. Curtis, number 32, now in his 12th year from Duke, who's played very fine football for Washington, replacing Chris Hamburger. 7 0 Redskins. 
first quarter. Theismann guns it downfield and Buck makes the reception at the 15-yard line. What a kick. Oh, Tyson has a problem now, and they really waffle him back at the 16-yard line. Good play fake. Tyson looks. You'll get second touchdown in the first quarter. Same pattern they ran to the other side. The exact same pattern. They went to the slot formation. They just throw Frank Grant to go to the corner. And a post pattern by Fugit. Once from one side, once from the other. And you see the hole. And again, an excellent throw by Joe Theismann for the touchdown. We're the Van Arsdales. Tom and Dick. We're identical twins. And we drink identical beers. Light beer from Miller. We love it. The best thing about light beer is it's, it's less filling. Taste. Great taste. Less filling. It's got a third less calories than the regular beer. Great taste, Tom. Less filling. And I'm not Tom. You are. Well, I'm dead. You think you oh, are. You but you never were. Before. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. Washington leads 14-0 in the first quarter. A little mix up there. Works out, though, as Betterson breaks free. Ooh, he had more room to go, but lost his footing. Still got a first down. They got him as a free agent. Here is Lusk breaking tackles, and Herb Lusk just fighting his way. Gets inside the 20. Leveraging six yards of carry. Better than that now. He hasn't had the ball that much after that game. Eagles start to mount a challenge. Here is Betterson, and he's not done yet, and Betterson's going to go in for a touchdown. And the Eagles are back in the football game as James Betterson goes 17 yards and picks his way through the secondary of the Redskins. Boy, this Betterson has really looked good. You see the cross blocking up the middle. Key and Walters come in to make those blocks there. And then just a fine piece of running by James Betterson. Big man. It's 6'2", 210. This was the only touchdown of his 23-game career. Now Theismann, who's put up two touchdowns, throwing goes for the bound. After the ball is Bugs, and the coverage is afforded nicely by Herman Edwards, a rookie from San Diego. Joel Theismann was a fourth-round draft pick by the Dolphins in 1971, but didn't sign. Instead, he signed with the Toronto Argonauts for $50,000 per year and played three seasons with them. Then the Redskins traded their 1976 first-round draft pick to the Dolphins for their rights to him. He was a Redskins punt returner in 1974. I think it's good to put the thing up long just to show them that you have that threat. Dyson has been gunning the ball for Washington, throwing very hard and accurately in his first start. And he escaped the rush. He's got room to run now, but he's going to put it up. A wobbler. That's a... Herman Edwards gives Kelvin Hill a wrap just as the ball comes in. Kelvin Hill can really get up. He's a very excellent jumper. And of course, Kelvin Hill passed on his fine leaping skills to his son, former NBA star Grant Hill. Hill was tall for a running back, 6'4". Kelvin positioning himself, trying to catch it. That was a good play on both people's part then. That Cincinnati score came on a block punt. Looking down and long now for the Eagles. All of their 16. Jaworski pump fake, and he's got the gun armed, and here is Charlie Smith going for the ball. It was intercepted by Gerard Williams. Gerard Williams. Jaworski may have been nicknamed the Polish rifle for his strong arm, but he underthrew this ball by at least 10 yards. Just not, a, not enough pose right here. Jaworski wants him to go deep, has to reload. Doesn't quite get it out there far enough. He goes left early. We'll see if they were drawn offside. <laughs> Did you see? Everybody left. You want to see an acting job? Look at Len Hoth fall down there. He looked like he was killed. Just completely disappeared. Watch your, watch your center. 56. You see he gets touched. Just touched. Now watch the acting job here. Watch your center. He'll fall out. The man he just got his hand on 73 him. 73. Throws defense, on his back. Down. Lays down foot up in the air. <laughs> Len Hoth is so underrated. He started 182 consecutive games. This is the amazing thing. A little play-action pass going back. 
We had Crefley going to the corner. How can somebody as big as Carmichael get lost in the secondary? And look at this little running. You know that's now. Look at that stat. 73 straight games. And he's Carmichael would extend his streak to 127 consecutive games, which was the NFL record. Second down and Here 20. Here comes the blitz. Jaworski eludes the blitz. He has a problem now as Eddie Brown comes up and knocks him down at the line of scrimmage, the 27. Third and 20. He dropped. Here's a big rush from Brundage. Jaworski gets it away, but it's overshot. He was going to Carmichael at the 10 yard line. And one of the specialties of the Redskins, something they work on, Don, is blocking these things. And he kicks a low ball. Moment. He got that one away. He's got it plenty far. He's got it right through the uprights. He split it. He drills it in from 44 yards out, and all of a sudden the Eagles have rallied back. There's George. Redskins tacked on two field goals on uneventful drives just before halftime to make the score 20 to 10. Hun McDowell, number 79, was in on that tackle. He was another underrated Redskins player who had 77 and a half sacks from 1961 through 1978. He was 38 years old in this game and played on two AFL championship teams with Buffalo in 1964 and 1965. John Riggins out with a knee. Theismann looking deep on third and ten. He takes time and pumps it up and look at Mike Thomas catch the ball. He got it and he held on. Theismann had the time and then he put it right between the double twos. Watch your time Joe Theismann has here. He stays in his pocket which is something he's worked on and look at him wait look at him wait reloads and then throws the ball mike thomas alone on the sidelines gets knocked out of bounds it's good for 22 yards pass blocking is tightened up considerably this week eisman dropping he has time again lets her go long and the man is wide open it is a touchdown for danny bugs nope he stepped out of bounds he stepped out of bounds We'll see if they really stepped out after he caught it or he caught it out. You see the play action going back. He runs an out and up pattern. Good protection again. The throw, excellent throw. You see the official right there marking on the left of your screen. He marked it before the ball was even completed. I think he went out of bounds and came back in, stepped up. That was the reason he went out of bounds and came back in. Where did he go? Mosley is into the ball, a 51-yard attempt. He got it. Boy, is he playing football for the Redskins. So the Redskins come out and salute Mark Mosley, and he well deserves it as he now has put the Redskins out in front 23 to 10. Here comes Jaworski now with a second and 10. His team down 23 to 10 in the third quarter. Blitz is on, and Ron McDowell the man who pops through. The dancing bear. The back had to pull out and hit Dusek 59, and that let McDowell a free lane. This is what they like there. When they're down, they know people have got to put it upstairs, and they don't have to worry about the run. They can just tee off. Third and 20 for the Eagles and Jaworski. On the run, the ball was broken up. Carmichael went for it. Joe Lavender made a big defense. He intercepted the ball. Lavender what a play. Had his hands on the ball inbounds. What a great play by Joe Lavender. You see him, he goes back, can't find anybody. Curtis was coming from his left side. He rolls out. You see him chasing right there, but look at this interception. How does he get this ball? It looks like Carmichael gets it, and Lavender comes away with it. Long, long yardage. Theisman gets it away. Going for the football is Frank Grant. Intercepted. Johnny Outlaw intercepted the ball. He's coming right back in a hurry. He can play football with the ball. You can't blame Joe Theisman. He makes a good throw under pressure. He puts the ball out. Just an excellent play there. This was picked off by Johnny Outlaw. Now Jaworski comes right back, puts it up, and woo, a free football that Jake Scott had a play on. Went off Carmichael. 
He really hummed that one and he had it a little high for Carmichael. Jaworski's had some problems, hasn't he, Sonny, with that bad thumb? Two for Obvious 14. that it's bothering him. Two for 14 for 35 yards thrown. He got a concussion and a broken thumb on one play before the half and was right back in there. Quick screen out to Carmichael. Good execution by the Eagles, and the big guy rips it up. Jaworski hooked up with future Hall of Famer Harold Carmichael on this 48-yard strike, which made the score Washington 23, Philadelphia 17, and that would be the final score. Jaworski completed 9 of 27 passes for 190 yards and this touchdown. If you enjoyed this video, check out my playlist for other cool ones. As always, thank you for watching.